As President Trump arrived in Kenosha, Wisconsin, on Tuesday afternoon, on a trip to survey a city that was thrown into tumult first by a police shooting and then by the killing of two protesters, he was greeted by a mixture of protesters and supporters. If the president's trip was meant to highlight the issues of law and order he has made central to his re-election campaign, it was threatened to be overshadowed by a series of comments he made on Monday. Mr. Trump likened the police officer who shot Jacob Blake in the back, setting off protests, to a golfer who choked on an easy putt. And the president declined to denounce a 17-year-old who was charged with killing two protesters during a night of unrest in the city last week. A crowd of Black Lives Matter activists mixed with Trump supporters gathered in downtown Kenosha, occasionally chanting in each other's faces and hurling insults as they awaited the president's arrival. Here's what you need to know. Trump is greeted by protesters and supporters as he arrives in Kenosha. The president's trip risks further unrest and represents a consequential political bet. Biden will visit Kenosha soon, the DNC chairman says. Trump compares officers who shoot people to golfers who choke and floats baseless dark shadows theory about Biden. Trump's conspiracy theory claims have floated around online for months. Biden is expected to shatter records with more than $300 million raised in August. Trump has won another delay in turning over his tax returns. A poll finds people who consume conservative media are less likely to wear masks.